designing the user interface, edit, compile, debug, deploy, and then modify. So if you want to see this, let's show you some of the new capabilities that we're bringing to bear on the Java client. Nandini Ramani from our development teams here. Nandini, let's wow them with some of the new graphic stuff your team's delivering. Thank you, Thomas. So today's demo showcased the latest advancements in JavaFX. And you'll see how you can use the features we now have to build really rich client applications uh, with great user experience. Building on the Java platform, JavaFX uh, delivers a compelling blend of both expressiveness as well as performance. Um, and all the applications you're about to see today can be written entirely in Java. There is no need to learn a new uh, language or scripting language or anything. So all the platform capabilities, including the scene graph, media, animations, effects, and much more, will be available and exposed through Java APIs. And these APIs will be available to any language that can run on the JVM. So it's wide open. Now, the demos you're going to see today are very visual. So I'm going to first run an executable that will auto run the whole application and then uh, walk through a breakdown of how these demos were built. You have a band. Yeah, we're terrible. One, two, three, four! Ah! Mr. Pilgrim! I'm Ramona's first evil ex-boyfriend. What? Ah! Wait, we're fighting over Ramona? Didn't you get my email explaining the situation? I skimmed it. Mm-mm. <laughs> What was that all about? If we're gonna date, you may have to defeat my seven evil exes. So what you're saying is we are dating? I guess. Does that mean we can make out? Sure. So everything you just saw is done entirely using Thank you. entirely using vector graphics and media. There's no images anywhere in any of the scenes you saw. So now let's see how, to, how I would build them. So I'm using a touch device, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Um, so we start off with just 2D graphics, basic shapes here. So what I'm going to do is build multiple layers here, monochromatic uh, circles, animating basic shapes, and then add blurs to it, create multiple layers of it, and then add a color gradient, and then use the overlay blend mode to get the effect you just saw. So very simple, out-of-the-box um, effects, which make it easy to have nice visual effects. Next, we move on to the coffee cup, which is a more complex 2D graphics. So that's done first by using a wireframe, which is done just all based on paths. And then you can add uh, shading to it with fills and inner shadows, and of course, a little bit of creativity. And then uh, use the circles from the previous uh, demo. You can create a steam effect, make it more fancy. 
And then say you want to add those particles to get really fancy with this, you first start with Bezier curves that are going to be the basis for a path animation for the particles to traverse. So then that's how that's created. So a lot of it, very easy to build with just simple steps because all the APIs are available to you to build these. So any Java developer can build all this stuff? Yes. OK, let's go a little bit further. So next we move on here to a, a multi-touch air hockey game. And uh, this one, even though it looks like it's a static image in the back, it's not. We're using gradients, lots of vector graphics to create this. So How many nodes are being plotted? like thousands of nodes in this one, and then it gets more complicated. So for these kind of, uh, this one has complex groups of nodes, and the scene graph makes it really easy, uh, and high performance here, notice that. So the scene graph makes it very easy to ta attach these nodes to the native uh, multi-touch events using JNI. Um, and notice that the paddle and the puck, these kind of complex shapes, once again, you group basic shapes together using the scene graph and then apply lighting and other things to make it more realistic, like in this case, the edges of the table and so on. This is a very uh, graphics-intensive demo. And for these kind of things, the Prism Graphics um, Hardware Accelerated Pipeline really helps us do a rendering in real time at 60 frames per second for these so kind of applications. it's a combination of what we've done with JavaFX to make it easy for people to build these but also the optimizations in the JVM and the way we've integrated the graphics engine with the hardware accelerator. Yes, to give it okay. the high performance. So now moving on from um, 2D graphics, let's go to 3D and media. So uh, we're starting off by building a video wall. Okay. In this case, there's 160 concurrently playing media streams. And notice there's a text box at the bottom. This is a standard control along with a, a lot of other components in the library. And it can be styled using CSS style sheets. Now, as I type in the uh, text box, you'll notice that it triggers a search on the metadata of the videos. And based on the tag, it, a bunch of videos fly to form this display shelf effect. It's too bad the camera dis moved, but I wanted to show you how responsive it is to, um, to touch. Otherwise, you don't really see. So anyway, so, um, so I continue to tag the videos. And if you'll notice, the media wall itself has a curvature on the back. This is once again done by applying 3D transforms to the 2D media views by displaying the videos on, a, on the inside of a cylinder. So very compelling effects with just basic, you know, um, simple, easy to use. And mix and match Java streams and graphic streams with HTML in this seamless mode between HTML5 and, and the Java graphics environment. Yes, and all of this is coming in the next release. So say I want to now play this video. So I can play full screen HD video. And then take the single view and then explode it into multiple views, once again apply, applying 3D transforms to it to form the video ball. Now, everything you saw here, like you said, there's 2D, 3D transforms, audio, video, lots going on in the scene with a lot of um, um, nodes. Now, everything you saw here is dynamic and interactive. Now, say I want to make this a more immersive cinematic experience. I can do this by creating the 3D world with uh, a camera that zooms and pans and also adding physics to the entire scene to provide gravity. So you see the video ball now with all the videos continuing to play on the uh, individual views. And it rolls down, and when it hits the video panel, notice that the panel is actually made up of 1,300 cubes. It's not a single view. Um, this scene itself is really complicated. It's made up of 15,000, more than 15,000 nodes in the scene graph. And it has, once again, a rich mix of physics, animations, lots of effects, lots going on in the scene. And I can continue to add explosions and add more nodes to make this even more interactive. And all of this is possible because this is running on the Hotspot virtual machine. And that, along with the hardware accelerated graphics pipeline, makes it really, there's no performance degradation at all, no matter how much you add to the scene. And a rich set of APIs makes all of this out of the box and easy to use for application developers. So how many people here in the audience think that's a cool-looking Java UI? 
Thank you. Thank you, Nandini. Thank you.